I can't think of an answer. Yeah, there's not a lot of answers, huh? Right. Um, I had Alabama on here earlier. I could say Michigan QB. I didn't think that would uh, restrict some of these answers, right? I can't think of a single fucking score. I don't know, Georgia Eagles, never mind, sorry. Oh, but there's no defensive players, though. No, no defensive players. Okay, oh, uh, Swift, I guess. Uh, he hasn't played a snap for the Eagles. You're right. Um, what are the answers? Yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just tough. I know one here. Michigan and Jets? Yeah. I know one here. Wide receiver. Sucked. Never ended up panning out. Probably like a decade and a half ago, maybe two. Braylon Edwards. Wow, nice guess. Um, I mean, he was good. In the NFL? It's fucking dynamite. He exploded? Gaps in the data like that that are explainable, but kind of frustrating and hard to kind of like, I would have expected that to be an answer, but because of the rules of the game going going back to 2000, which so we, we, can, we need the, like the parameters very clearly defined. For listed. sure. We definitely do. And we can also just go back further as long as we can get the data, Yeah. which we can. I just kind of put a stop there because I was like, okay, we have data this is 23 past, years. That's good for now. We have data behind 2000, just not for college players or just old, like nothing? No, I think CFB yet. has it. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, they definitely do. I just meant like, do we, like if you did a grid with just three NFL teams, are we able to guess players before 2000 or no? We could if we added the data, but. Right. I right. just put a stop at 2000 for this so we could get it up and running. If we need to add in, add data from the 90s, we can do that. Good. Right. But uh, I don't know. Who's an answer? I think this is Isaiah Crowell, the crow. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Um, God, he went to Georgia. Tony Michelle? He played for the Dolphins? I'm pretty sure he, he did. did, I think. I guess he did not. Definitely feels like a dolphin. He feels like one. Maybe he didn't get a snap, though. Possibly was signed and cut. This picture looks like a dolphin. <laughs> looks pretty dolphin to the me. The evidence is damning. Yeah, it didn't play a snap. Nope. Same. Numbers don't lie. Tony does. Right, so if we go in here and go to the admin panel, we can change some of this up. So how would you guys like to set up a grid game? Just give me some rows and columns. Your options for the labels are NFL teams, college teams, statistics, or by position. The position is an add-on, right? So this is something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Like- It's a secondary. Yeah, right, as it stands right now, it's a secondary, but we could also make it a standalone thing, but I don't know what you guys envision yourself using more, like. Yeah, no, I think uh, that as a sec, I don't think that as a primary would ever make sense. Right, being like wide receivers from the Jets, you guys would just be like, Jets, yeah. okay. Braylon I mean, Edwards. Maybe it would make sense for college, but like. Maybe, I, I think secondary is probably. Okay, so, right, so. Um, I'll remove position, but you can always still add positions, and then it will just, it'll filter that actual label down even further. Um, but the other thing we have to talk about is then how to like treat that in the UI, right? So like, mm -hmm. if we are saying quarterbacks from the Jets, uh, like how do we show this? Like as it stands right now, this looks fine enough. I mean, it still needs love obviously, but like, do we want it to say like, why? I just don't know what you envision for these labels, how these labels should look. Um, other than these logos. Yeah, I wonder if there's, if we have like a template, like anytime there's a secondary piece of information, we have like an icon in the, in the, I don't know, top left corner or something like that. Sure, maybe, maybe it's like a red circle, it just says QB or wide receiver totally. position or something like that. That's a good idea. Um, and then the other thing is we need to come up with treatment for like the statistical ones, right? So if we say statistic type, like, yeah. like we kind of need a similar thing. We need to show the threshold. Like, I don't know, know if you remember what it looked like before, but it looked just plain text. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we need to come up with stuff for that, but then like we still don't have any offensive line data. Honestly, I have no idea how we're gonna actually find this the game. Maybe we just add it as an addendum to the game also. Like, mm -hmm. just like, who knows offensive linemen? Like, why would that? So yeah, I mean, I did see somewhere where it showed like defensive tackle data but I can only get it for like on a team level basis. So I could get like from, I think it was PFR, sorry, CFB. I could get like 2002, uh, 22 Georgia tackles. And I could just assume that everyone that's made a tackle for Georgia was a defensive player for Georgia. But then I also have to go through and like hit all of those URLs on a team level basis. And when I was scraping data from PFR before, every time I hit their website 30 times in an hour, they would say, okay, you've reached, like you've hit this website too many times. So. I could do that, but in order to do that, I'd have to iterate through all of the different colleges for every year since 2022 to 2000 and like get 30 
of them. It's just going to take fucking forever. Yeah, it's going to take like two weeks. But I could do it. That's what I did before for some of the previous data I got. I don't remember what. But uh, certainly possible. But otherwise, I just don't know how to get like I wonder if we have that data. Jordan, because um, he does a lot of like IDP content. So he might know where to find defensive statistics. Jordan Crocker? No, Jordan Brains. Won the bash. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure that this data exists somewhere. I just don't know where it is. But like, ideally, if we could download CSV files for it, that makes my life a lot easier than having to like come up with creative ways of like pulling this data down. And then every time I pull it down, I have to make a lot of assumptions, and some of these assumptions are wrong. And then, uh, like, our data is. Let me message him now. Has bad issues with it. Like, for example, when I downloaded some of the defensive pro data, PFR has like a bunch of players listed as DB as their position, right? And I'm I would assume that that meant cornerback, so I filtered it, I mapped it to cornerback. But then yesterday I was trying to set up a grid for myself. I was doing like uh, Ravens and then uh, one of the columns or rows uh, was like intercept four more interceptions and I typed in Ed Reed expecting it to work. I also had it filtered down to corner uh, safeties only. And Ed Reed didn't show up and that's because DB and PFR actually probably means safety. It's more likely to mean safety than cornerback. So like I made a stupid assumption, I guess, but it was because I don't know what the fuck PFR is doing in terms of their positions, right? So I need to like go back and fix that now and either assume that DB is always safety or for something, or we just need to say all safeties and all cornerbacks are among the same group, which is called secondary or something like that, right? So we have to make some kind of choices like that for both how we want to use this game and how we ingest the data. And like these things are fixable, but like we're gonna hit snags like this for a lot of the data, yeah. which is why I want you guys to start, like I'm gonna get this deployed tomorrow morning or later today, either or. Uh, Cause it's all a bunch of this shit still living on my computer, but I want you guys just to go through reps and like play like set up games and fuck around with it and then figure out where there are issues so you can tell me so I can go in and figure out why there are issues or whatever. Um, and this is mostly talking about the data validation stuff, right? Like there's gonna be bullshit like that. Like there's, as we mentioned before, there is that um, thing on PFR where it says like two teams for a, a partic particular season. And like, I don't split that up. That's the data is not split up for me. So I'm gonna have to like write a process to identify all these two team seasons. And then we're gonna have to just manually s separate them because I think that was an issue before for like a Mark Ingram thing, right? Yeah, uh, I, don't remember who, but I don't remember who it was, but yeah. So like, there's gonna be problems like that that we're gonna have, and there's gonna be other problems that we don't even know about, right? So we're just gonna have to go through reps, identify these things, and then have us investigate what's going on with them. So what I need to do for next week is give you guys the ability to like visual, like see what the answers are, because right now um, you can do it, but it, you have to do it through some kind of developer-y magic and I, I don't think you guys i mean you could do this but i don't think you guys want to uh have to like be in the dev tools so we need to like figure out what we want to do for that winning like what is winning is winning when you get a tic-tac-toe probably not that's kind of boring right is winning when you get all nine and then what happens and also restrictions like i was thinking of this like if you put travis homer in as a successful guest for a cell then like or do we want to add the restriction where you can't guess that for another cell like i don't know yeah, um, uh, we, we've always allowed that. Oh, oh, you've always allowed that, okay. Yeah, like you can use the same guy for multiple cells. But yeah, so... I think the winning and losing will have to go back to like what the... If we're assuming that it's just a one-player game. I don't know if there... I don't know if there is like a winning, necessarily. Yeah, I think... Because like the only way we, we win is because I'd, I'd have more faces or more squares than Tony or whatever. But if you're playing by yourself, it's almost like you're doing it to just like... I think you just try to complete it before getting three strikes or something. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I wanted to get all the data validation done first so you guys could start monkeying around and like like point out where the data's wrong, but obviously there's still some holes in the data, so we'll just have to keep working through some of these types of things. But in the meantime, yeah, I want to be able to create like pages for you guys to actually look at where this data, like if you click on No Sean Moreno, for example, it would show you like, okay, here is what we have in the database for his college seasons. Um, here are the teams that he played on for these years in college, and also like here are the uh, teams he played on in the NFL where he has games like this is essentially the data that's being cross-referenced when these grids are coming up right because like when you put in these labels and you go to one of these I get I get all the players that played for the Jets and then I cross-reference it with all the players like it's like a big Venn diagram that I'm doing in code pretty much for each of these cells right yeah. so yeah I, I feel like we you guys might see something and you might be like oh I think that's fucked up I think the data's wrong but it would, it's going to be a pain in the ass if you guys have to talk to me every time to look at the database. So I need to give you a page that pulls from the database gotcha. so that um, you guys can do your own kind of math on this shit. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for 
Uh, next week. Big data. God, it's so annoying. Greater sign, big pharma. Okay, that will be $200. <laughs> Welcome, bye. To big content. If you enjoy this, the only thing we ask is that you share it with your friends, your family, your spouses, your ex spouses, and anyone in between those types of people. Perfect. And you'll shoot me an email after, right? Okay, great. Great, great. Um, yeah, so so price range and budget, we're looking to get any, we're looking to be like 25 bucks a seat or less. So yeah, that, that's kind of the thought, but open to what you guys have. Gotcha. Wrap it up. Jack Settlement bought tickets to 250,000 sporting events. Got it. No, that, that, that would probably work for 26 bucks. I got with this. Got it, got it. Buckets. Makes sense. Okay, good to know. I appreciate that. Fourth quarter, Taysom. Tatum. Taysom. Taysom out fourth quarter, pretty good too. Awesome. Alright, thanks, Tatum. Appreciate it. Were you yelling at me? Tap ones are ultra noise canceling. I never yelled. Did you need to record something? No, I was just saying wrap it up. For what? Just, <laughs> just, just done with your conversation. Just wrap it. What, what game were you going to? We're doing uh, five baseball games in five days. In five days? Yeah, so we're doing Detroit, Cleveland, Chicago, Kansas City, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. So we're doing 50 fans taking over a section, doing content around it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You want to come? Baseball in June. Like, like, what do you mean? You like drink beers, eat hot dogs, and like so hot. What if it's like today? What if it's hot today? I got invited. Invited me to a Mets game next weekend. I don't know how to tell her no. What? I guess. I don't know how many places I'd rather less spend a Saturday afternoon in the summer than I. They got Mars. Mets Stadium. They got Mars. You think a Mets Mars would legit? I think it's special. Answer me. No, I'm just realizing. Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm a baseball guy now. I'm going to that game, one of these. I'll go at all five. <laughs> you're on the 10. Why not? Because you're going to just do more. Yeah. Do, do more. Are we updated them on Patterson? No, I don't think so. Kind of. It uh, depends. Well, it depends how much you're following on YouTube. Yeah, you guys will have to uh, stay tuned for next vlog because if you can see Sexy's chair over there, empty. Believe it or not, didn't fire him. Believe it or not, times two. Didn't quit. Had to go back to Canada to renew, not even renew his visa, get a brand new visa in which he is now officially the accountant for BDG. But before he can take over that role, he needs to pass this like interview process at the airport, which is crazy. He's got to come back, fly to New York. While he's in New York, they're going to pull him into a side room like he's a terrorist, investigate him, look through his bags, make sure no sketchy shit's going on. They don't like what they see, they're sending him back to Canada, like on the spot. I don't know how it works. Like, I don't know if he gets another chance at this and a crack at this. Do you remember what he said? No. He's, gone. he's done for life, right? Yeah. He's not allowed back in America. Uh, so we might be down sexy by, we'll know by Tuesday. You guys will know by Sunday. Or maybe I'll tweet about it. Maybe not. I'll probably be in content, I guess, on TikTok. Unfortunately, so we're all just waited waiting with bated breath whether or not sexy uh, gets back in had to write him a letter Getting back in. Had to write him a letter about his new role and like the Responsibility he's gonna have and everything like a little bit about our company. You know, what we did mm -hmm. Chad GPT wrote the whole fucking thing for us. It was awesome GPT did just threw up all over myself. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, AI taking over. I think the baseball's more interesting. Oh, you want me to get on the phone with the Guardians right now? Yeah. Who are you on? What, what does that even mean? Tick pick? No, with uh, the White Sox. Or with, who was that? Detroit. I gotta get all the tickets now. You're yeah. talking to each team and they're giving you tickets? No, we gotta buy them through the ticket office. Because the MLB is being... I don't wanna talk shit. But... Get that on the record? No, they are just gonna give us tickets. You thought the MLB was going to hook you up with 250 tickets? Yeah. You mean, you, you it's five grand. You don't got it like that. It's yet. five grand. Bro, what? We're going to bring 250 people to the park, create concert around it for $5,000. To, to the AL Central. To, who's going to, who, tell me who is going to Tigers Diamondbacks on a Friday night. 
No one. Those games are gonna be so empty. That's what I mean. So we're bringing people out to the park. Are you guys showcase. gonna wear? You guys have to wear like all bright yellow T-shirts. I feel like you'll get on. We're, well, we're doing hats, but everyone's gonna kind of wear. It. We're, whatever the MLB wants to do, we're gonna accept. So it could be like batting practice. They could get batting practice for people. Like get to watch batting practice. It could be a free hot dog. It could be maybe they give everyone jerseys. I don't know. But we kind of put together this package, and then we'll see. Oh shit. You're to get 50 people for each? No, are they, are no, they all in different locations too? Yeah, yeah. Oh, damn. Each city. I have no clue if 12 people are going to sign up. I thought you were just going to like the Yankees and Mets or something. No. How much is it? 25 bucks. Per game? Game ticket, hat, pin, and whatever the MLB throws in. So how are you getting there? Are you taking a train or it what? It's like it's not profitable. Flying. No. You're flying each to each yeah. new location? Yeah, it's like an hour flight. I guess that would be a bitch and a half trying to take a train. Yeah, that was a crazy, <laughs> crazy thought process. I don't think it's that crazy. But you didn't even know what the locations were before Yeah, you said he, that. he said them before, you just weren't he listening. AL Central. Oh, I thought uh, you were just talking about the one game you were going to play. I'm in. You're in? Yeah, I don't know how I'm getting to each stadium, but I'm I'm in. Just fly. The train. That's what I'm saying. I don't know I don't know what train. There's a train. I'll pay his $25. Yeah. I want 10 hours of content a week. They don't even have people on the other side. Hello, this is Jack Settleman calling for a group ticket package of uh, 50 people on, for the game June 10th. I'm looking to buy tickets in the price range of $25 per, preferably in the outfield. Uh, my numbers, please block this out. Pulls up three pointer. Bang! Bang! It's uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. That person's CDs? like, what do you mean, block out your number? <laughs> yeah, that was something you should have just said him after the phone call. Oh, <laughs> uh, they'll have no clue. Yeah. I feel like you should, you'll probably be able to fill those up quick, because I feel like you'll get groups of friends that want to go, right? Oh. Yeah. It, that's the thing. It, it's a good offer. Like, it's 25 bucks to go to the game, and you're, that, like, even just to go to the game. Yeah, exactly. that's what I'm you're you're a group of eight friends, it's like, even yeah. if I don't really like know Jack, it's like, why not just fucking be exactly. part of that? And, and that's where the MLB, it could be cool, and they were excited about the fact that we're, like, doing shit for the fans. Mm -hmm. Is like, if they get a free t-shirt or batting practice watch or whatever. Like, anything is going to be, they put us on the jumbo tribe, it'll be, you know, better than just buying a ticket by yeah. yourself. Where's the closest one to us? Probably Philly, yeah? You say Philly was one no, of them? Detroit, Cleveland, Chicago, KC, and Minnesota. They're all like relatively in the yeah. same right? the, the one I wouldn't suggest going to is Detroit because there's a Taylor Swift concert that night. So hotels and flights are expensive. Oh, we already have tickets to the Swift concert. Oh, you do? Yeah. Can I say? <laughs> <laughs>